So friends, hope you guys are doing great. You are safe, healthy, and strong. In this video, we will be discussing the different types of insurances required in residential loan. You may have heard terms like UFMIP, MIP, funding fees, and guarantee fees. But do you know what they actually mean and why they are required? In this video, we will explore the various types of insurance and fees associated to the residential loans and how they apply to different loan types. By the end of this session, you will have a clear understanding of the types of insurance that can apply to a loan as well as the SOPs. So let's dive in and get started. In the US, it is mandatory that every home that is being financed should have an homeowner insurance. Now, when I say homeowner insurance means if I'm going to take a loan, whether it's a purchase or a refinance, I have to go for homeowner insurance. Now, why I need that? Because that is the one of mandatory requirement from the lender side, because lender wanted to get protected. How lender wanted to get protected with homeowner insurance? Because let's say if this property catch fire or there is any, you know, theft or if it get damaged due to some natural uh, disaster, then what will happen? In the first case, let's say the property catch fire. Then if property is burnt out, if property is damaged, how lender will recover whatever investment they have done? Okay. So borrower might say, okay, property, you can go and foreclose the property. I'm not going to pay. Property is not there. It is damaged. Why should I pay for it? So in such events where fire or any theft or any kind of other natural disaster happens to the property, lender should also be covered so that a property will be insured, right? Lender can go to the insurance company and recover their funds, right? So that is why it is one of the insurance that is mandatory for any finance property. It is mostly going to be on the, you know, yearly based premium that need to be paid and most of the uh, these premiums being paid with the mortgage payment right you must have watched my previous videos related to escrow related to uh, homeowner insurance i'm giving you this link again in my description box if you haven't gone through please try to go through that video it it has a lot of details how to review the homeowner insurance, what are different types of homeowner insurance like for condo, for you know blanket policy, liability insurance, what is HO3, HO6. So it's, it's a very detailed video. Uh, I recommend you should go through that video, right? Here we are only going to discuss the different type of insurance and why they require. How to review? Please uh, go through this video and you will get a lot of details. Okay, let's move to the next. So the next one is the private mortgage insurance or you must have heard the PMI, right? This type of insurance is typically required for conventional loans. On conventional loans where the down payment is less than 20% means any loan, any conventional loan where the LTV is greater than 80%, right? Let, let me give you a scenario to explain it in the simple uh, terms right so the, let's say this property this property of this uh, value of this property is 100000 right so if the loan amount is 81000 that means your ltv is 81% right in that case we have to go for mortgage insurance now remember the previous insurance that we had discussed that was hoi means homeowner insurance hazard insurance or you can say fire policy or a coverage right that was a different one that is recommended for all the loans but here we are discussing the private mortgage insurance it is now why how it is different from the hoi or homeowner insurance it is different because in the HOI, this HOI protects this property. 
it is the home owner insurance but here it is a mortgage insurance mortgage you remember what is mortgage a legal document right a legal agreement in which borrower states that if borrower fails to pay back then lender can foreclose the property right so that is the uh, document which is being secured by this mortgage this mortgage insurance okay so that is what the difference pmi or mortgage insurance is going to protect the mortgage if borrower fails to pay back the loan because my property is still there but because of certain reasons borrower is not able to pay back he might have lost the job he might have some medical issues right or any other issue and because of those you know unconventional circumstances borrower is not able to pay back in such right this insurance is going to protect lender lender can go back and uh, to the insuring mortgage insurance company and they can recover their funds from that insurance so that is how it is different from the hoi from the homeowner insurance right and it is a mortgage purely mortgage insurance but in a conventional loan whenever there is a uh, whenever the ltv is more than 80% right then this mortgage need to be applied means this mortgage insurance need to be taken simple so whenever your ltv is going to be greater than 80% this additional insurance will apply on your loan in the conventional program or in the convention for the convention product right now if you wanted to know why more than 80% and not on the other loans where ltv is less than 80% let me give you let me clarify it also okay what happens if this home if i have invested out of 100000 right i took a loan from bank or a lender right for let's say 60000 that means i am going to pay 40000 as a down payment from my pocket right this is the down payment paid by the borrower now whenever there is a you know any difficult situation occurs because in this property i have already invested 40000 so i will try to save this property right so for lender it is a less riskier loan they know that borrower also has invested a good amount of money in this property so obviously they are not borrower will always try to save their investment but on the other hand if loan amount taken on this property is 95% right means 95000 then borrower has only paid 5000 as a down payment now you see the risk here if any circumstances will come where borrower will find a financial hardship he will still try to save his 40000 right but in here if borrower comes under a financial difficulty right he he obviously he will think but not as as he is going to be concerned in the for, for the 40000 for 5000 he might say okay my my investment is very less just 5000 he might stop paying the payment i will you know save something else instead of this property because there is only 5000 dollar that is investment from the borrower side so it becomes very riskier for the riskier for the less than 20% is a riskier loan for the lender side that is why they always recommend private mortgage insurance on a conventional loan right again if you wanted to see you know uh, wanted to understand more how it is different from other insurances or what type of insurance those are being used for fha loan va loan please go through this video i am sharing the link in my description box you will get lot of information what is the difference or what different type of insurances those will be applied and how what are the different uh, differences between the you know fha insurance versus the conventional uh, private mortgage insurance okay i hope uh, this private mortgage insurance is also clear let's move. okay so next type of insurance or next insurance that we are going to discuss is the flood insurance right now what is flood insurance flood insurance is also an important one 
it may be required for properties located in the areas designated as high risk flood zones by the federal emergency management agency that is known as fema right now when it is going to be applied whenever your subject property will be located in a zone which is declared by fema as a flood zone right so let this property is located on the mountain area right you know that flood is, uh, there won't be any you know uh, threat of the flood right but if your property is located nearby the sea then there are high chances of flood so you will go for flood insurance but how we will get to know whether our property falls under the flood zone or not it's very easy there are so many online applications where we just need to put the subject property address and we can get to know whether our property comes under the flood zone or according to the flood certification if flood certificate tell uh, show us the property comes under the flood zone and there are different different zones right a b so whatever the flood zone our uh, property uh, for, comes under accordingly we will go for the flood insurance but if our it, flood certificate tells us that okay property doesn't come under any flood zone we are good and we can skip this insurance so that means flood insurance is will only be applied on those loan where our subject property is going to be under the flood zone very simple right let's move to the next title insurance very important right each time we are going to you know finance any property whether it's a refinance or purchase title insurance will be recommended by the lender to save or, or the funds or investment that lender has done lender will always go for title insurance so if you wanted to know more about the title insurance how it get applied why it is required what is the difference between the title commitment and the final policy or the you know preliminary title here is the link i will provide the link in the description box please go through this video and you will get lot of detail about the title insurance and the title how the underwriter should review a title a document or preliminary title commitment all those do so the next insurance that we are going to talk about that is the mortgage life insurance have you heard about mortgage life insurance you might have not heard about this uh, insurance because it's optional for borrowers right it's designed to pay off the remaining balance on a mortgage in case the borrower dies before the loan is paid off right so what happens let's say there is a borrower who took a loan on this property for 500000 right and within 6 month that bar that borrower dies right the loan amount was let's say 450000 he was the only uh, breadwinner for his family so since this person dies how his family is going to pay the loan amount because there is no other earning per member in that family so in the case of such events if the borrower go for mortgage life insurance then if such you know such uh, event happens lender can go to the mortgage life insurance company and they can recover their funds from there so it's an important mortgage life insurance you know which i recommend personally that everyone whoever taking a loan and there is no other person involved in the loan they should go for such uh, mortgage life insurance so that their family is always secure okay now we will talk about the fees or charges that apply on the different different loan types right initial loan types okay 